Hi! This video is the next one in the series dedicated to JavaScript interview questions. And here I want to answer one question suggested by one of my subscribers. And question is following. What are ES6 modules and how are they used in JavaScript? So let's get started. Okay, let's answer this question. And simple and short answer is following. ES6 modules allow you easily split large JavaScript files into several small files and uh, bind them together using import and export statements. ES6 modules were introduced in ECMAScript 2015 but actually they are still not part of the standard. It means that browsers currently don't support ES6 modules. But let's talk about that later on. Now let's answer the question how modules work. With modules you can create several JavaScript files. And let's say there will be JavaScript file called first and there will be JavaScript file called second. In the first JavaScript file, you can create, for example, a function and before function write keyword export. Let's suppose that name of the function in this first file is my function. After that, you can import this function into any other module. And let's suppose that you want to import this my function into the second JavaScript file. In that case, you will need to write line of code like this. Import, curly braces, inside of them my function, then from, and after that path to the first JavaScript file. If it is located in the same folder as second JavaScript file, then path will be dot slash first.js. You can actually omit .js and write simply dot slash first. That's how import works. And in this example, I have explained you named export and named import. In such case, name of the function in the file where you want to import function to must match name of the function in the file where you export the function. Actually, same applies to any variable that you want to export from any module. There is also an option to create default export. And in such case, you will write line of code like this, export default and then any variable or function. In such case, you can even use anonymous function expressions instead of named function. Because the default export doesn't require any name. And in the module where you want to import this default export, you can put any name you want. And in such case, you don't require curly braces. And you can simply write line of code like import my function from and path to the file where this function is located. That's how default export works. You can combine default export and named exports. And in any other module, you can import either default exported function or variable or named function or variables. That's all for ES6 modules and uh, finally I want to answer the question why do we need those modules? Actually, you can go on without modules and split your JavaScript code into many different small files. But in that case, in the HTML files where you want to use those JavaScript files, you need to use script tags to import every single file. And if you have, for example, 100 of uh, JavaScript files, you need to add 100 lines into the HTML document. That is not convenient. With ES6 modules, you need to add simply reference just to a single file. And in my example, it will be second JavaScript file. But uh, actually, I have told you before that uh, modules, ES6 modules are not supported by browsers. And you need to use module bundler like Webpack to bundle all functions, variables together. And such module bundlers as Webpack 
take root file and go through the chain of all imports and uh, take all functions or variables from other modules and then bundle them into a single file. In Webpack there is also an option to create separate bundles for different pages. And uh, you will bundle into a single JavaScript file only features required for a specific page. And all other features will be loaded dynamically as soon as the user navigates to other pages. Ok, that's all for answer to the question what are ESX modules and how do they work. It was a relatively large answer, but uh, I'm sure that this answer will fully satisfy any interviewer. Thank you for watching, uh, hope to see you in the next videos. If you like this video, please press like button, subscribe to this channel and hope to see you in the next coding tutorials. Bye-bye.